This, says Paul, is the Christ I preach, he who came of the seed of David, he who was marked out in power as the Son of God by the resurrection of the dead. His thought of Christ runs in the two moulds, his messiahship, his resurrection. Paul does not, however, say of Christ merely that he became of the seed of David and was marked out as the Son of God in power by the resurrection of the dead. He says that he became of the seed of David according to the flesh and that he was marked out as the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead. It is obvious at once that they are not temporal qualifications. Paul does not mean to say, in effect, that our Lord was Messiah only during his earthly manifestation and became the Son of God only on and by means of his resurrection. It has already appeared that Paul did not think of the Messiahship of our Lord only in connection with his earthly manifestation or of his sonship to God only in connection with his post-resurrection existence. 